So we got our domain and our web hosting account at SiteGround. If we take a look at our domain, divicrib.com, we can see that there's an awesome site in the making. And uh, you're absolutely right about that SiteGround. If we take a look at the demo website, this is what we are aiming for. So in able to achieve this, we have to install WordPress. And luckily, SiteGround offers a one-click, super simple install for WordPress. So if we go back to our SiteGround account, we can click websites in the main menu. And uh, I only have one website on this account and uh, I can click the complete link. So if you already have a website in another web hosting account, you can migrate that website, but we are going to create a completely new website from scratch. So I click start new website. And I can choose an application if I want to use just WordPress or if I want to use uh, WordPress and WooCommerce. And WooCommerce is the official e-commerce plugin for WordPress. Weebly Site Builder, I don't even know what that is, but um, we are going for WordPress. So I click select. So we start here by adding uh, our email address and this will also be our login username and uh, choose a secure password and click continue. And I don't want to add the Cycron site scanner. There's no need for that. And I don't need to add the domain privacy. So just click finish. And now SiteGround is uh, creating the WordPress installation, setting up the database, installing WordPress and connecting it. So, uh, it's doing all this for us so we don't have to do this technical work ourselves. So while waiting for this, feel free to um, hit the like button or leave a comment on this video. I would, would really appreciate that. And we are all set. Perfect. So the website with my domain, divicrib.com, has been created. I can point my domain to the new host servers, but since I have both my domain and my uh, web hosting account at SiteGround, there's no need for that. That happens automatically in my account. And I can also go to Site Tools to manage the site. So if we click Manage Site, you will find a bunch of options for your website. For example, you can manage your email accounts. You can go to the file manager if you want to mess around with the PHP files in WordPress. Under security, you have the backups. And this is really good if you want to restore your website if something happened and you have free daily backups in all SiteGround accounts. So I already have one backup since yesterday when I started recording this tutorial. We're going to look closer to the SSL manager and the HTTPS uh, enforce in order to make uh, a secure connection for our website. If we take a look at our website, divicrib.com, it now looks different. So it says my WordPress, just another WordPress site and nothing here. So this is actually a good thing. We can see that WordPress was successfully installed and we have the default theme, the 2021 theme from WordPress installed. And to log into WordPress, you will type after your domain. So divicrib.com, for example, you type slash WP hyphen and admin so that's shortening for wordpress administrator and i hit enter and then i come to the login screen so this is where i enter my credentials so i enter my email address as my username and the password that i choose for and if you have forgotten your password, don't worry. You can just click lost your password and then you can get a, an email with the restore password link and just choose a new password. So I click remember me so I don't have to type this in every time I'm going to log in. And we are in WordPress. And if you have used WordPress before, you might not recognize this screen because this is a customized SiteGround welcome screen. I will exit that, clicking exit link below and go to the default WordPress dashboard. And this is actually 
a complete installation of WordPress. So in the upcoming chapters, we're going to look closer to the different settings. We're going to install a theme, look at some plugins, and least but not last, we'll create a really, really nice custom website design.